What a pleasant surprise. How considerate of you to deliver Maxwell right to me. Tell me, Alfred Vincent, why is it that you have betrayed us? It's simple. Because the truth is I've always despised you. I see. So you're prepared to spend the rest of your life in Riza Maxia? Like that matters to me. <laughs> How'd you do that? I didn't feel any spirits die. What's going on? Eat this! There it is! It's that spirit again! I see, so you're Maxwell. You look quite a bit different now. Be quiet! Who told you to speak? Yes, Master. What the heck was that? Why are you taking orders from that big jerk? It's only natural for tools to obey their wielders. The only tool here is you! Spirits and humans are supposed to live in harmony! My servant here is hardly your garden variety type spirit. She's actually a spyrite. What? We used boosters to recreate the spirit Celsius from the spirit fossil in which she lay dormant. She is the physical manifestation of a spirit art itself. So now you're using the spyrite's mana to perform arts? <laughs> and that's why she's a tool. Does it all make sense now? How could you? You're despicable! So that's why you took Tipo's data? How could you do that to him? Little lady, I need to personally thank you for that. You told us precisely how to give birth to the Spyrites. And how to turn Riza Maxia into energy. I take it those aren't tears of joy, little lady. <laughs> How can you be such a monster? Conductor, I thought the curtain closed on your career long ago. Why insist on an encore even now? I'll have you know that I'm as stubborn as my king, Gilland. And I'm not about to forgive you for toying with his life. We won't lose to you. No way! <laughs> Is that supposed to frighten me? You really should know your place, boy. You don't have the power or ambition to make good on such threats. You of all people have no right to talk of power or ambition. But you know, you use them both for your twisted objectives. I have little interest at all in continuing this conversation. But answer this one question. Do you know the difference between you and Jude? <laughs> As if I care. As I thought. And that's exactly what makes you a fool. The lance is spooling up to absorb more mana. Come, Maxwell. I'll allow you to live. However... The rest of you will die! I will protect all in Riza Maxia, people and spirits alike. That's it, Gilland! This madness ends right now! Time I got rid of you once and for all! Funny. I was just thinking the same thing. I won't let you harm Master. Out of our way! Mila, wait! Choose right. We should not underestimate Celsius. This is my ultimate creation! Taste true power and die! Okay? Not yet. Right. Look out! 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 Right. Look out!
that of the great spirits. The power of Spyrite. Doesn't matter. Gillen's ambitions end here. So this is experience. All right. No. I can't stop. I won't let anyone. Never stop him. All right. No, not now. Not when we finally created a spyrite. Damn it! The only thing you really want to do is gain favor with the outside to boost your influence. What's the point in making these spyrites or whatever you call them? Spyrites are different from Spyrix devices. They allow us to wield incredible power without consuming spirits. Olympias is overflowing with people and technology, and we need Spyrites to sustain ourselves. What are you talking about? As spirits have become scarce, so has the mana in Olympias. Our world is now doomed to fade away. So that is why you implemented the Otherworld Reactor Plan. But it's your fault. For getting hooked on Spyrex to begin with, now you have to live with the consequences. But if Spyrites become commonplace, the people of Olympias will have all the mana they need. Isn't it a bit late for that? You were the ones who chose to rely on Spyrex 2,000 years ago. That wasn't me! <sighs> Are you okay? My death is not going to change the face of Risa Maxia. Our, our plan can proceed so long as the schism exists. 
Everything you've done is for nothing! Is he dead now? Perhaps that was the price he had to pay for using Celsius. It was a high price to pay, even for that much power. Well, I'll be taking this back. Glendor, you'll cement. Goodbye, Uncle. Has everything been settled now? You just missed it. This doesn't feel right. Not at all. Exodus must abandon their plans. They must be forced to, for the sake of Riza Maxia. Right. interfere here. I'll destroy it. into the lands, then maybe... <laughs> so you were saying we should willingly give that thing power? It could mean the death of us. We're dead either way. We have no choice. Protect the world. There are still so many things left you need to do. With the schism gone, Exodus's plan will come to an end. Isn't that right? <laughs> what?
You're still here? I told you to leave with Jude and the others. I'm sorry. I dragged you into this. Well, well. You've certainly changed, haven't you? I just want to live as Maxwell. That's all. And that's an excuse to off yourself, huh? I know it conflicts with my mission. Then don't! Don't do it! I don't want to disappoint Jude. When he's watching me, I want to be like this. I want to be the Maxwell he respects. What does Maxwell have to fear? So that's what it was. I finally understand. I've become afraid. Afraid of loss. Bye, Jack.